with myself, James Benzie, aka the Birdie Benzie, and the magical Dread Baby on the camera just behind. Obviously, you can't see, but I've got a little assistant today, so we'll see how this one goes. Not like the last time where Chris did keep me informed and we kept on running out and having to re edit the video, so thanks for that, Chris. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to have a look at the iDroid Diamond Mini Kit, which is just here. So we're going to pop off, we're going to have an in-depth look at this, we're going to go inside the box, have a look what it comes with, and then we'll come back to a test. See you in a second, guys. So guys, here we are. We've got the 2ml Diamond Mini Kit in all black, my favourite combination. So what you get in this kit is your 225 watt mod, you get your tank and everything else you can see on there, but we'll dig into the box and we'll have a look. I always like iDroid's packaging, especially this little black box on the inside. So let's just get that one out there. So this one is called Mirror Black. And here we go. So there is the unit itself. So let's just have a quick look at that one. I like the way that this one's designed. I'm not a big lover of the original diamond. It's slightly too big for what it is. Whereas this one is just perfectly sized. And a nice little battery vent holes there. And obviously your magnetic battery door. As you can see, I've already got my batteries in because I have been testing this particular one. Uh, currently got it set to 80 watts. Um, so let's have a look at that one. And here is the tank with the amazing X3 mesh coil in which, by the way, is sensational, but we'll go through more of that later. Um, a nice, easy airflow with a stop at each end. Of course, this is a 22mm tank, so it will fit on a variety of mods. And it has a screw on and off the lid, and some nice large kidneys there for you to fill it up. Also, as sad as it is, I actually really like this drip tip, because it comes apart. So you can actually replace the acrylic part. However, I like the, the acrylic that it's come with, but that's a nifty, handy little thing to have, that you can change those. Oh, and I'm knocking my tank over, so I'll tell you what, let's put that on there so I don't knock it over again. And let's delve deeper into this box. So, we have a spare mesh coil, which this one, is it's a spare X3 coil. Look at that. So two of the same coil in one package, that's amazing. I like that one. So standard O-ring set that you get with every iJoy kit and your USB charging leads, your user manual and your warranty buckler, and of course, a bubble glass. Now, I'm just going to talk about this, because we've just been looking at this one downstairs, and I don't know whether Jen can react quick enough, whether you'd be able to see, like, the pearlescent on there. Is that showing it on the camera there, Jen? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, we can see it there. Yeah, the light's hitting it. See? Blue That's a nice purple. little touch, so I am going to put this on at some point. Um, but I haven't done it yet, but I don't really want to damage that glass because I like that little pearl assembly look to that glass. It looks really, really nice. So, we're going to shove all this back in the box. And we'll be back in a sec, and I will go through the workings of the kit, go through the menus. So, we'll see you in a second, guys. Hello, guys. Welcome back after that little brief look at the Nitroid Diamond mini kit, which I just put in front of you back to front, so that was an amazing start to this segment. But, as a little curveball, I am now going to throw in the Loop RDA. Now, this is the Loop RDA. Now, I've been using this one since my dead rabbit gave up the goose after a liquid killed it. And I can't remember redoing it, so we'll just have a quick look at this one. And then we'll have an intimate look at this kit as well. So, let's see what we get in here. So, you get your Loop RDA and user manual. Oh, ooh, what's in this? I like little booklets. I like it. Ooh, these are little warning cards and a battery safety card. That's posh. That, that is very cool. Ooh. Oh, and then colours on there. I like that black and green one. I actually quite like the gold and black one as well. That's a really nice colour, that. 
So what else have we got in here? Oh, here we go. So you have your little bag of tricks here. So you have a drip tip converter, a squawk pin, a tool and a little ring set and a spare set of screws for your posts. And we also have a black delving drip tip for a 510. So let's have a little look at the loop. So let's take my tank off. So I'll have a little look at the loop whilst I'm putting that one on, and then I'll get back to that tank. So, for those of you that know about the loop, it does come with the W-shaped base, which I'm just going to take my cotton out of this one, on the sides, just so you can see those bases. So, I'm just going to bring it, and Jen's just going to zoom in a little bit, just so you can see that W-shape there, and that nice deep drip well underneath. Now the one thing I absolutely love about this is that airflow does airflow in that W shape go nice and down and then straight back up and underneath the coil. You can't quite see it on there but I'm going to try my hardest to just push that out of the way ever so slightly and then there you go. Just about here you can see that nice lovely smooth airflow. And like I say, the drip well on this thing is huge. So if you are going to be using this at all for your squonking, it's the perfect RDA deck for that. A lot better, unfortunately, I am a lover of the dead rabbit, but it is a lot better on the squonk than the dead rabbit is. It does hold a lot more juice than the dead rabbit. So at the moment, I'm going to test this with a nice little surprise for you. This is the 12 Monkeys Ice Range. This is Sabay. This is a rainbow sorbet. This is a limited edition liquid from the guys down at 12 Monkeys. And so we have been sampling this one all day today, but I'm just gonna do a little bit of a drip test for you so you can see that as well. So bear in mind guys, this is available for pre-order from 12 Monkeys themselves. Also will be available at Electrofag at some point in the future. So let me just put my airflow. I like these as well, so you can choose whether to have one airflow if you're just running a single coil or you can spin your loop around and then you can open both. The only one drawback I found with this is it'd be nice if this top section of the tank was removable just to allow you to drip a little bit more easier. A bit similar to the way that the Dead Rabbit works as the lid comes in two parts. That'd be amazing on this kit. However, I still love this kit. So, let me just wipe my hands. And let's give this a go. That rainbow sorbet. I'm not going to lie, when you get your hands on it, it's, whoa, it's gorgeous. It's that nice, it's making my eyes water because I know that I'm not going to get a sample bottle of that again. And I'm, I'm on the edge of crying because it's nearly gone. It's that good. And, not going to lie, it's a little bit hot in here. So, there will be beads of sweat dropping down as well, so just excuse that one, guys. So, like I say, you can only remove the drip tip on this one, otherwise it is the full cap. And as you can see there, there is not enough room in there for me to drip everywhere. I like that separation on the Dead Rabbit, and it kind of lets it down on the loop. Having said that, it's still fantastic. The one plus that this has over the Dead Rabbit, and again, I'm going to compare it to the Dead Rabbit because that is my favourite RDA. Um, is the adjustable airflow something that is lacking a little bit? Yes, you can turn the top piece on the Dead Rabbit. I get that, you can restrict the airflow. But the airflow on the Dead Rabbit is slightly different because it does angle it down, whereas this is just straight through, up and under. And that, to me, is a lot smoother of a vape. Some people like it, some people don't. Again, it's totally subjective, I totally get that. But if you are looking for an RDA that you can squonk and you can drip and ease it is really easy to build on as well that deck is phenomenal so we'll come back to the loop at a later date and we'll possibly do a build on that for you so i'm gonna take this off and i'm gonna put my iDroid tank back on here now when we're talking about airflow let's just move all of this out of my way because knowing me i'll knock it off as per usual and generally adjust that little zoom there that's it, look at that. 
So, as we're going back onto the tank, as you can see, I have my airflow all the way wide open. Now, just a dry hit with no fire in, it is quite a noisy tank. Uh, I think in part that's to do with the coil as well, because it does create like a little vortex on the inside, which it sounds weird. And I'm going to try and capture it on a camera at some point. It does, the air circulates in a different manner to a normal coil. That's probably down to the base of the actual coil. The little connector that touches your 510 pin. It's really, it's a, it's a trick little bit of kit to be fair. So again, this is at 80 watts, so this is the limit the coil can take. I am going to do a video separately that will push this further on. And how are we doing for time, Jim? Three minutes. See, if you watched the last video, Chris didn't tell me that. He just stopped behind me going, and we had to recall another segment. So, <laughs> again, I've changed the way that we do the videos to show that we are genuine. We're not doing this. I'm not paid to do this. These companies haven't passed me this to blow smoke up them or to talk them up or hype them up. I literally get given a kit and I'm told to give my honest opinion, so that's what I'll do. And that's why we do the, the way that we do. We are going to change the way that we do our juice reviews as well because it won't just be me who does the next juice review. We will have a couple of people involved in that and we do have some special guests coming up. But like I say, that's a noisy, noisy airflow. That is all the way open. Let's see what it's like about half. Hopefully you guys can hear that from there because it is pretty loud. So let's just see what it's like near enough shot. It's actually quiet there. I prefer my vapes somewhere between 75 and 100%. So we'll go for the 75 and we'll see what that's like. Again, at 80 watts. The liquid I've got in is Steeps Forest Mist, which, guys, if you haven't tried it, you need to get yourself down to your local Electrofag store or your local stockist to Steep or even check us out on electrofag.co.uk because that flavour is just amazing. It's a cherry, blackcurrant, menthol and eucalyptus and oh my god, it is fine. Another little side point before I go on about the flavour. That flavour, by the way, is like a brand new coil. But what I've done in the last couple of days is I've changed to eight different flavours. So I've had every one of the steeped range in there, plus an added little extra that is known to kill coils pretty quick, and it's handled every single one of them. So the one that is known to kill coils is Pomberry by Horny, and it handled it like a trooper. And I'm going to have to hurry up, guys, because Jen's going, you've got one minute. <laughs> so we've got one minute left. Um, it still tastes like a brand new coil, and it has been punished. Uh, the next step... There we go. The next step for this is to go all the way around the staff, so the staff can try it, the staff can test the tank, we can see if we can destroy this tank, and then I will update it and let you know what liquid has destroyed it eventually, whether it's just time or it was the liquid. It's only two days old, but it's had eight different liquids in it, so it has had a variety uh, of different ones. So remember guys, vape on, vape strong, and as always, keep it cloudy.